Hey guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to a video and today I am giving you guys five things to enhance and improve your character designs. One of the things that I really improved on and learned over the past few years was how to make my characters less boring design wise. I feel like that it's really easy to fall into the very simple approach to designing a character where it's a lot of just based on colors and color blocking things but um, as I've grown as, as an artist, I've learned a few different things here and there to add to my character designs to make them more appealing to look at. When you're designing a character, you're always trying to find certain assets that fit with your character and describe your character well, but also add to the detail of it. So these are just five things that I think are really good additions to your characters. Also, all of my video examples from this video are going to be cards that are going to be in Heroic Set 2. My first one is belts slash straps. This is the first one that I ever started using a lot, and you guys can see this in a lot of my character designs. It's pretty prevalent. Bringing in belts and straps into your character design can kind of break up a lot of different portions of the clothing and give them different boxes and sections to it so there's more for your eye to look at instead of just one big color block. Also if they have baggy clothing adding in these belts and straps allows them to still see like where the waistline is or where like the arm starts or the elbow or anything like that and it's a really good way to add in another sort of color so maybe you've got like a full blue suit of some sort adding in like a gold strap or belt is really like a big pop of color and it'll match your blue. And when you're doing this whole belts and traps things, there's a ton of different little additions that you can add into the straps, but of course you can go ahead with the buckles. I've done this a lot on my belts. Adding in like this bright gold buckle to like a regular brown or black belt, again, adds this really big pop of color and you can add like a shine to it, which also brings the eye towards it. My second thing that you can add it to your character designs is unique hair colors slash techniques. This is something that I more recently started picking up over the past year probably. I think before I used to fall into a lot of the same hair designs and colors. But basically, don't be afraid to mess with different hair colors and techniques. So you don't need to always fall into the very natural hair colors of blonde, brown, black, red, all that kind of colors. Be feel free to try out like purple, blue, green, all these different colors that aren't natural colors. Also something that I found that I really enjoy in characters and can also help characterize them and just make them a lot more interesting is like almost streaks of color instead of having one big block of color. I've done this in so many of my character designs now because I think it just adds so much to them. It's having just like a small streak or two streaks of a color in your hair. And then for the technique style of hair is don't be afraid to get outside the box of hair design. Even if you don't see a certain hair design on normal humans in your life doesn't mean you can't bring it to your characters. So maybe they've got half their head shaved and the other half is regular hair or if it's like a reverse mohawk or something. Like, feel free to try out different styles that you don't usually see. Also, if you want to do even more research, you can go into, like, the history of hair and, like, different hairstyles that used to be and kind of bring those back into the future and maybe change them a little bit. So maybe even taking, like, a mullet and bringing that into the future and try that out. I did that one of my character designs, and I'll also show you guys that. So my third section is a little bit broader, and it brings in a lot of different things into the same subject, but it's detail lines, textures, tattoos, face paints. These are all things that take like a regular block of color or like a skin tone or anything like that and it adds texture to them. So maybe you just have like a regular normal skin tone, maybe it's just like an arm or something and you feel that it's kind of blank. Maybe adding some tattoos to it is a good way to kind of break up that color, add in some more uniqueness to your character so the character has like a personality. Maybe you've just got like a regular face and you feel like it needs some more and your character doesn't have enough personality of maybe bringing in some face paint of some sort. And then for the detail lines and textures is a huge thing, especially with um, digital art. I started doing this a lot in Heroic Set 2 art. What I mean by detail lines and textures is this is the kind of stuff that I do after I've done my inking. So instead of adding in these tiny little detail lines with black ink, I will just use a slightly lighter or darker version of the base color to add in detail lines. So in my example, I add dragon scales and I just use the base color, make it a tiny bit lighter or darker, and then add in the dragon scales. And there's a lot of different ways to go about this. It doesn't necessarily have to be scales or fur or anything like that. It can even be like little lines and textures that you add to like a jacket or maybe pockets or something like that. I also just wanted to throw into this category, um, jewelry is an also a good option to add to your characters. I didn't want it to have its own category because I feel like it's fairly simple, but um, jewelry is a really good way to add a shine and something for the eye to look at on a character. 
Number four, I also recently started picking up and I really enjoy it, is non-human features on a human character. So I mean things like horns, fangs, claws, that kind of stuff, bringing it into your character designs. I've started doing this with Heroic and you can use these to kind of describe a character. So usually how the horns are pointing and like the teeth and claws you can use to kind of characterize what kind of person the character is. But basically bringing all these non-human features into a human character makes them interesting because it's something that people don't usually see day to day because it's not human. But yeah, this is definitely one that I've mostly recently started picking up and I think it's really interesting so I'm gonna start implementing it more. And then my last one for you today is also something that I started recently picking up but I got a lot of inspiration off of Pinterest um, for this kind of design is taking off a body part and replacing it with maybe like a machine or some kind of magical force of some sort. This one also kind of connects back to my third point of replacing like a blank arm is to just remove the arm and replace it with some kind of machine. Another thing that's really nice about this point is you could technically design an entire character arc or like background story around this missing limb. Because there are so many stories about like missing limbs and like accidents that happen with characters and I think you could definitely design a story around just taking off someone's limb and replacing it. For example, the card that I'm drawing in this point is Samade the intellectual and since he's very smart and he, he does a lot of research into technology and magic and all that stuff, he was able to design himself his own arm and that's why you can see it in the art. That's like a really rough backstory and it would definitely get developed more, but it again gives you something to build off of. All right guys, so this is five things that you can add to your character designs to enhance them and improve them and make them more appealing to look at. I hope this helped you guys out because I know I get a lot of questions about how I get ideas for character designs and all that kind of stuff. So I hope this gives you something to build off of and improve your own characters. If you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications for more awesome art videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.